So the very best thing we can do in this room is to bow to elect conservative leadership that can credibly take on justice on Justin Trudeau, stand up for Canadians even when it's unpopular. Aureli wasn't into politics, but I saw him on Facebook and he speaks for the people. He's uh, been a light through all of this darkness and I will do anything that I can to support him. That's kind of why I'm here today, to see if he would reimpose these lockdowns after he gets the power. Lincoln J for Rebel News here in Mississauga, where Roman Babber is hosting an event this evening promoting his leadership conservative campaign. The MPP for York Centre has been one of the most, if not the most outspoken politician in Ontario when it comes to speaking out against the negative impacts of lockdowns and COVID-19 restrictions. We're told that we must go into lockdown, keep kids out of school, close business, delay surgeries and disrupt normal life because COVID will overwhelm our hospitals. The most important metric was the effect of COVID on our hospitals. For two years, this government and this minister were not telling Ontarians the actual toll of COVID on our hospitals. Instead, they were inflating COVID hospitalizations by combining patients hospitalized as a result of COVID with patients tested for COVID, but hospitalized for a whole other reason. In fact, he was so outspoken that he lost his seat in the Progressive Conservative Party. It took little time for the Premier to issue his response. Effective immediately, Mr. Babber will no longer be sitting as a member of the PC caucus and will not be permitted to seek re-election as a PC member, calling Babber's remarks irresponsible, that by spreading misinformation, he is undermining the tireless efforts of frontline healthcare workers and putting people at risk. After Mr. Babber wrapped up speaking to the crowd, he hosted a meet and greet. Now, unfortunately, he declined to take any of my questions on camera, which I did find quite surprising. I can't say for sure if he simply did not want to speak with Rebel News or if he was short for time. But with a million and a half subscribers on YouTube alone, you would think Mr. Baber would be happy to take the opportunity to spread his message to such a large audience. If he potentially doesn't want to take straightforward questions from myself, will he be able to handle being the next Prime Minister of Canada? In any event, I did speak with some of his supporters to see why they came out to support Roman Baber here in Mississauga. Let's check it out. And I promise you. My very first piece of legislation when I enter office is to eliminate any hint, any memory of any passports or any mandates. I will do that on day one. So what brought you out here today? I've never been interested in politics since day one. I only really started to get interested in it at the beginning of the pandemic when I noticed that Roman was saying everything that was opposite to the mainstream media. I want to bring back human rights, that's why I believe in Roman Babur. Aureli wasn't into politics, but I saw him on Facebook and he speak for the people. So basically that's why I'm here to support him and to give my support. He's uh, been a light through all of this darkness and I will do anything that I can to support him as he's supporting Canadians and I'm going to fight for him all the way just as he's been fighting for us. My point of view, kind of very close to his point of view, so... I think he's like-minded. I started hearing of, of uh, Roman uh, over a year ago, and it's like there's someone else out there that uh, feels the same way as I do. I think I share a lot of the same views, and someone that's not scared to go against what uh, I think they're trying to ram down our throats. His principles and what he stands for is uh, pretty much true and what I believe in. I couldn't help but continue to follow him, and now that he's running for Conservative Party leader, uh, I want to hear more from him, and that's why I'm here today, to see if he's really what we all need. Why do you think Canadians should trust him to stick to his word? I think uh, because he was expelled from conservative parties here in Ontario. So it's obviously he has a something different. I've seen so many politicians say one thing, and then once they're in power, they just completely do a 180 shift. And... Uh, that's kind of why I'm here today, to see if he would reimpose these lockdowns after he gets the power. I think it's for the peop it's the people. If they fight for no what is right, like what Babur do during those lockdowns and things, if we all have the initiative what he have done, I think we will go there. Well, as he's been saying um, pretty much all along, his, his, pop his opinion has been an unpopular one, and he's been fighting for what he thinks is right all along, um, rather than going with the um, more popular opinion as you know, Aaron O'Toole did. So 
I trust them. So it's from humble uh, beginnings, and I think you need to, because someone like Justin, who has been uh, pampered all his life, I don't think he's in touch with anything that really uh, goes on, and uh, it changes your character and uh, your inability to see what's really needed. He represented people really who voted for him, and he will do whatever people want. Well, I think Canadians, first of all, should trust him, because he's taking the strong stand on uh, basically against lockdowns. And the other politicians have not done that. Certainly the Conservatives, he did mention O'Toole went left, went right, said there were lockdowns to come, less vaccines, more vaccines. I mean, he, all over the place. He's got a good position and very strong in stating that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to check out all of Rebel News' coverage from the Conservative leadership race, you can check out a special website that we created called leadershipreports.ca. Thanks again for watching, guys.